two different saves for demons. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? Find out in this video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this is a test, this is a trial. I'm going to try and start doing some more short form content, chuck that out there and see if you guys love it, see if it can increase our reach. Hopefully if you watch this video and you love it, you'll think about hitting that subscribe button, come and join us on our weekly live streams. You can find the schedule on the channel homepage, um, so make sure you hit that little subscribe and like button, right? All that nonsense that YouTubers tell you to do. So what we're going to do in these new series of videos, and I say series, it's kind of never ending. When Games Workshop stick out a community, a community post that's specifically 40k related, I will try and jump in here in the studio, stick the camera on and do a short video about it. Basically what we're looking to do is read the article to you guys and give you my thoughts in the hope that one, you don't have to read it yourself, I'm saving you time. And two, I also get to give you my thoughts, and then we might be able to lead that into a, a stream later on where we talk about it in greater depth. So what we talk about today, well today is Games Workshop, not today, Games Workshop actually launches on Friday, I think, maybe Thursday, I don't remember when. Um, we have a couple of days ago, but I've been building this setup so it can work. Games Workshop released a new article about Chaos Demons. So Codex Chaos Demons is on its way, which means we're starting to get some previews in the Warhammer community page. And the one they told us about most recently was to do with demonic saves. Demonic saves are changing. So instead of just having a demonic save, which has always been a five plus invulnerable save, they're making adjustments. So let's jump into the article. So the article on the community page, it says, in these dark times, demonic forces are close at hand. The demons of the warp chitter beyond the veil, gnawing at the thin divide between our realms. In a more literal sense, Codex Chaos Demons is nearing release. When this vile tome is ushered into real space, it will bring with it a mountain of malefic rules to empower your hellish host, and chief among them is demonic invulnerability. And like most entities that battle for control of the 41st millennium, demons are not formed of ordinary matter. They are psychic energy given form, eldritch manifestations of despair, hope, desire and fury, each one of them bristling with hungry mouths and otherworldly weapons. Conventional armaments use crackling power fields and explosive force to punch through armour and alien hide, yet these munitions have a little effect on the inhuman horrors from the Empyrean. Demonic Invulnerability provides your seething hordes with two unmodifiable saves. The first represents their durability in melee, and the second offers them a defence against ranged firepower. As you'd expect, bloodletters care little about where the blood flows from in melee, and with those new stats, they're even better at shredding than before. But they make for a more challenging target at range. It might be their unnatural loping gait, or perhaps Korn's just too busy enjoying the spectacle of coast combat to lend his protection. On the other hand, pink horrors are even squishier than before in close combat, but bullets and flames simply pass through their shifting forms as they blink in and out of existence. As with everything, this is by Zinch's design. Slaying one horror just leaves you grappling with two more. Demonic Invulnerability is far from the only new or updated ability lurking in the Immaterium. Codex Chaos Demons is set to make your demons even more terrifying than before, perfect for overwhelming the material realm in a tide of warp-touched horror. More updates on these demonic hordes will be on the community, Warhammer community in the future, but don't risk dropping your Gellerfields, just sign up for the newsletter and the news will be delivered straight to your inbox. So they talked about corn demons and they talked about uh, zinch demons specifically. So corn demons right in front of me here have a demonic save of a 5 plus 4 plus, which means it says the first one is against melee, the second one against range. They have a 5 plus invulnerable save in melee and a 4 plus invulnerable save at ranged, giving your corn demons a significantly greater chance at tearing across a tabletop and getting into combat with the foes opposite you. Uh, we use, recently used corn demons on stream with the old current 8th edition codex and that 4-up and vulnerable save would have, become, would, would have come in real helpful. We look at Zinch Demons. They're even worse in melee. I mean, they don't want to be in melee Zinch Demons with a 6-up save in melee. But they have a 3-plus invulnerable save against ranged. The question I really have about this, 
is it says an unmodifiable save and it calls it a demonic invulnerable save, okay? Now we know typically that invulnerable saves in 40K aren't modifiable anyway. Typically only armor saves are modifiable. But there are certain rules in 40K that state that they ignore invulnerable saves. Looking at you, Tau Railgun on Hammerhead. But they don't say they ignore demonic invulnerable saves. So what I'm really hoping is that we get this clarified as soon as the codex comes out as to whether those particular rules do or don't affect demonic invulnerable saves. My gut feeling tells me that they should affect demonic invulnerable saves, not that they should just be immune to everything because they're demons, but who knows, this is Games Workshop that we're talking about. It could be, it could be that demon saves are the new stupid thing. Do I like the rule? Well, I like the fact that they're trying to make certain things more narratively survivable and durable. I like the fact they're trying to give my corn demons the opportunity to get across the tabletop and get into melee by making them that little bit more survivable. I like that. I'm a big fan of that, to be clear. Not to mention the fact that if we look at the corn demon profile on the article, it also shows toughness going from three to four. So I'm not against being more durable and getting across the table. I like it. I'm a fan of that. What's our biggest complaint with 9th edition? Our biggest complaint with 9th edition is complexity. What does this bring in to the rules for corn demons? More complexity. You now need to know two saves for your demons. Now we don't yet know if the 5 plus 4 plus for corn and the 6 plus 3 plus for zinch is the save across all of the demon ranges. We don't know if bloodthirsters are also 5 plus 4 plus and lords of change are also 6 plus 3 plus. We don't know that at all. So it might be that we see multiple different types of demonic saves across a single god. If you want to run a multi-god chaos detachment, and we see these quite frequently, where you have some Zinch demons and some corn demons and some plague bearers, and even if each god has the same saves, you've got lots of different saves to remember. At least when it was a flat five up, you knew that your army had a five plus invulnerable save. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that's what we should keep, because I still don't think that was durable enough or good enough to get demons across the table and into melee, but at least it was simplistic. So I don't like the complexity of having to now remember two different saving throws for each of your demons. I don't like the unclarity as to whether rules that ignore invulnerable saves ignore demonic invulnerable saves. I do, however, like the fact that they're trying to make demons more frightening. I like the fact that they're supposed to be more scary, and I like the fact that my demons have a much higher chance of getting across that table and sticking the Hellblade in you. That's what we want to do. That's what Korn wants to do. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think of this new demonic save. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you excited for Codex uh, Chaos Demons or are you not? Because you're already looking at this and going, we've only just seen some previews and these look quite complicated. I'm super keen to know what you guys think. I'm also keen to know what you think of this new style of video. So this isn't the Codex reviews, which is currently the only pre-recorded content we do on the channel. This is now something that we'll be ch ch chucking out hopefully two to three times a week, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I'll keep doing it if it's successful. Make it successful and I'll keep doing it. Anyway, please hit that subscribe button. Join the channel if you want more of these videos. Make sure you've got allow gifts turned on because in the live streams, people are prolific at gifting membership to you and then you'll get to come and hang out with us in the members area and check out all that amazing members content. Uh, if you are going to look at picking up any of the demons as they come out, use the Element Games link in the video description below directly supports the channel. They are our sponsors along with the wonderful people at Siege Studios. There should have been a pre-roll at the start of the video. Anyway, that's all from me. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.